Xavier, what's up, man? All right. So yeah, a few of these sets on your squats. Um, I think one of them you did like a set of five. Um, but yeah, just try to keep it at five. All right. So it's a lot of volume. You don't have to. You don't have to video the warm up sets. And um, actually, with the working sets, you know, if we get five sets of five, if you want to post like two videos, um, that should be okay. Um, as you get better and better at this, um, just one video would be uh, suffice, okay, man? Yeah, honestly, I think uh, most of these look pretty good. Um, you know, what we were working on last time was making sure that the knees stay back and they don't slide forward. Actually, that's a, this is a good one here. All right. Working on keeping the back straight not letting the knees drift forward and notice how they stay back all right and you're sliding the knees back so once you're in the bottom you really want to make sure that you're driving the chest up and notice how it just shifts shifts ever so slightly forward like right i'm going to slow that down a little bit like right there just watch the bar when you come down and just watch it and see how it shifts forward just a tiny bit. So we got to make sure that we're wedging our chest into the bar. Okay, and we're keeping our back nice and straight. Aside from that, a lot of these look pretty good, man. Um, this set here, you were struggling a, a little bit. I think it's because you were bending your knees forward right off the bat. Okay, and that's going to that's gonna cause you to shift forward a little bit, okay? Actually, on this one too, so... You see how the knees automatically come forward. You can actually see your hips driving forward. All right, and I think that's what makes it tough to get depth. So make sure the legs are wide, and make sure the first thing you do is sit the hips back. Okay, man. Um, bench looks pretty good, man. Something I noticed on some of these is uh, your head's coming off the bench. I don't know if I can see it on this one or not. So I want you to keep your eyes straight up. I also want more tightness in the legs. So I'm just going to fast forward this a little bit. And I just want you to pay attention to kind of how much your legs are wobbling around. All right. So just notice kind of how much they're kind of like doing this. So I want you to make sure that you're putting pressure into the ground, driving your knees out the whole time. Also the chest, I want you to make sure the chest stays up. All right. So... The chest kind of comes up as you come down. I'll play that. Like right there. So I want that chest position before you start. Alright, and it stays high throughout the entire rep. Okay? Wrist position looks a lot better too, man. So good job on that. And the deadlift. Alright, so the biggest thing I see here is kind of your start position. So notice how forward your knees are. And if you draw a straight line down to the bar, notice that it's it's right over your toes, man. So that needs to be over the middle of the foot. So I need your hips higher. You're going to slide the knees back. What that's going to do is that's going to put your shoulders slightly in front of the bar. You do an excellent job getting your back straight. All right. But you're kind of forward of the bar. You can see how the weight's on the toes. All right, and the same thing here with the squat, how I want your knees to slide back, all right? So the knees should slide back, and the shin should almost come vertical before you start pulling your hips through, okay? So get the weight back on your heels, get the hips higher, shoulders in front of the bar, and get that back straight, okay, man? All right, look forward to seeing your list on... Monday, alright man?